Hey, we have here today another integral on the board. This one's from the MIT Integration B 2023. This was regular season, problem number 11. We have the integral of square root of two ln x plus one over square root of two ln x dx. And the first thing that jumps out to me, of course, now this and this is exactly the same, but more importantly, I think if we took the derivative of this first radical, I think we'd end up with something very similar to this over here on the right. So what we could do is just kind of play with the derivatives by trial and error and see if we can find a solution that way. But in this case, I think what I wanted to do instead was break this into two integrals and try integration by parts. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is just start with this left integral and do integration by parts on this one. And this is motivated by the fact that I'm thinking that this is the derivative of this or close to it. So this is like a reverse product rule situation. And in those cases, integration by parts is usually gonna work out really nice. So for integration by parts, we're gonna do the DI method, tabular integration, and we really have one function over here. So I'm gonna just kind of create a one, and we're just gonna integrate one, and I'm just gonna differentiate this whole thing, square root of two, ln x. And integrating one, of course, we're gonna get just x. And then differentiating over here, first we'll use the power rule, viewing the square root as a half. So we'll take a half up front, we'll have two ln x, minus one half here, and then we need the chain rule. The derivative of the inside part is gonna be just two over x. And so we're gonna have part of our solution right here on the diagonal. So we'll just write this out, we'll have x square root of two ln x. When we write this out as an integral, okay, like a two is gonna cancel here, a two is gonna cancel here, and x is gonna cancel here. So when we do this, we're just gonna end up with one over square root of two ln x dx, and we'll put our integral sign. But that's gonna be pretty nice because notice that this is exactly the same as this integral right here. So I'm just gonna get some space and bring this one down. And now since this one's a positive and this one's a negative, we can just cancel these two out. And so all we're left with is this right here. So for our final solution, we're just gonna have x square root two ln x plus c, and that's it, we're done. Okay, so a really quick problem is all about just recognizing the derivative or recognizing that we could use integration by parts. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.